we help us to pay. Do. Like, yeah. help, I mean, help us pay our bills. Like, we, we can't. We can't say no. Yeah, this we, is our job. we can't. Yeah, well, it's our a job. different situation, right? Yeah. You can't really, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, well, you're an essential worker. I guess, um, unfortunately, I'm not. You know, and that's one and, thing. Um, so I saw the New York gets, government tell people, go get an essential, yeah, get an essential job. job. I was like, ooh, he's getting gangster. Okay, there's yeah, that Italian. That's a liberal saying that. Yeah. I was like, ooh, damn. He called people bitch right there. He yeah, said, you want a paycheck? Yeah. Go work at the grocery store. They're mm-hmm. hiring. I was like, yeah. damn, this guy's this guy has had uh, this guy's had enough of this bullshit. He, yeah. he he went back to being a politician for a second. He was yeah. just like, go get your job, motherfucker. Go get your job. Yeah, you want your job? This guy. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 the fucking, hey, fucking job. Fucking go to your fucking <laughs> guy's works. Oh, go, <laughs> go to your grandma's Bottega down there and get yourself a fucking job. <laughs> So, so what are you guys thinking, like, timeline? That's what? It's May now. It's going to be in I'm May. I'm going to think, you know? well, I'm thinking at least May is dead. May is dead for us. May is dead. It, and um, I'm thinking, uh, like I'm thinking October, mid-May. October. Yeah? October. So you guys going to do the whole, November. like, okay, everybody stand three feet apart, wear the fucking masks. You know, I mean, how do you how do you how do you get an ensemble to play in sync when you have to be separated? I can't, man, because these guys don't want to play. You don't want to play either. I'll play. You know that, like I said, I'm being put between that rock and a hard place where it's like, okay, you guys, all pansies. <laughs> I lost, I lost, I lost two, I lost two paychecks. I lost mariachi gig revenue, and there's rumors where I work that it's going to continue. Nothing for sure, but. There are no planes. I work in aerospace. So I wanted to put this out to Facebook the other day, but then I was like, yeah, you know, I got, I got other shit to do. I have every incentive as a musician, as more of a conservative person myself, and as a person who works in program management for aerospace industry, right? I work in commercial aerospace. I have every incentive to post shit in favor of going back to work. I have every incentive to tell people that here's data that suggests it's not as bad as it is, go back out. Because here's the thing. We can open up the country, but if there's no demand, here's here's where the economics go, right? So you've gone through a month and a half of no revenue. So you've lost that. It's gone. Never coming back. That's a pretty substantial loss. Maybe you're a business owner, and so you've had to pay out of pocket to keep your staff. Maybe you had to cut hours, but you still kept your building so that you could come back so you could return. Maybe you went into more debt, so you extended your lease. Or if you own a property, you extended your mortgage, which is terrible for your credit. And it's terrible for your debt-to-income ratio because it fucking peaks, right? Mm-hmm. That's why I paid my mortgage. Uh, so you, so all these things that are the worst possible things you can do as a business owner, right? Now, employees, they don't understand this shit because they don't own anything. Yeah. So they're bitching about, I want my hours. Mm-hmm. I'm like, you may not have a building to come back to, motherfucker. Where are you gonna, where's your hours going to be mm-hmm. then, right? How are you going to serve drinks if your bar closes? Well, I'll just go to the next bar. Well, that bar closed too. Yeah. Well, let's go to the third bar. Well, fucking 15 other people that just lost their job are going to that bar. Yeah, so now you have to compete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You dumb motherfuckers, come on, think about it, right? So that's what I've been trying to not say on Facebook is just calling people retarded. But <laughs> it's been so hard. <laughs> so I'll do it on YouTube. So I'll do it on YouTube. <laughs> On my podcast. I can't be monetized. It's my podcast. I'll say what I want. I don't care. Fuck you, Google. So, so that's Your the hell. are coming down. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry. What? Take my hundred bucks a month. I don't care, right? That's, that's, that's typically what I get on YouTube anyways, right? So I have every incentive to take the conservative pro-Trump ap- approach and get it people out. But that's not what I believe. That's not what I believe as, as a person. As, a, as I guess you could call it, you could say it. A mathematician, someone who understands these numbers, right? When I see them, I think people will die unnecessarily if they go back too fast and too much. I think that we will come to Thanksgiving and Christmas, and a lot of us will have lost an aunt, a, a, a fucking grandma, your 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 mom that just retired and she's in her fifties and sixties, and she had another thirty years ahead of her. That's gone. Now you're dealing with her estate. Now you're dealing with. With the fact that you can't hold a funeral, I don't know, dude, that's escalated really quickly. You in see, November. you see, that's what I'm talking about, right there. It'll be, it will be that, right? And people don't understand that. 
So I can't say that yes, because I am losing money, that I want things to go back to normal because I believe they will. I hope they will. I hope that in the next two weeks, Georgia doesn't have a surge and it doesn't spook the shit out of the rest of the country. Then we can go mm-hmm. back to the way things were in June. Yeah, well, then that's when everything's going to start going back a little bit to normal. Everybody's going to start feeling safe. Yes. And everybody's then you'll get start... the demand, right? Yeah. So here's the last part of that thing for business owners, right? So you went through all that shit, right? All that fear, all that loss. You open in May. And you open knowing that you have to follow guidelines by the federal government. So you're only allowed to service two-thirds, if not only a half, of your of your, of your your client base, Right. So if you're a beauty salon that was used to seeing 100 people a day, you're now going to see maybe 60, maybe 50. If you get to 40, you're out of business because that's 60% of your demand is gone. You will not survive. And you're open, so you're incurring operational costs of being open. You're electric. All these things that you normally have to pay as a cost of doing business, you're now incurring with only 50 to 60% of your demand returning. In any business model, that's usually the point where they shut their doors down. So if you go a month, two months, and then there's another surge and everybody goes away, you will certainly go out of business. Now, that's just the money. That's just the econ. That's not to account for the threat of loss of life. If I was just a bastard and I didn't care about people living and dying and I was only looking at the economics, the economics don't make sense for me to open my store. Because I'm risking losing 60% of my demand and then going out of business after I just lost a month of revenue and I'm in debt. So what business person thinks that things are just going to go back to hunky-dory? Hopefully they do. Hopefully the demand returns. It's going to be slow. I mean, You know, I don't think that it even can, right? And then imagine someone in your establishment turns out that that was the first place that they went to. Two weeks later, they were on a ventilator. Then, are you liable for that? If they can, con- and they're going to be watching. So it's not yeah. just we open up and everything's fine. <clears throat> if a person gets sick after May first, they will start contact tracing that person, and they will trace everywhere they went. They've actually been saying that on the news already that they're going to do that. Yeah, they have to. It's it's, it's totally required. Mm-hmm. And if they find that they got sick at your place, now your your reputation is is gone. No yeah. one will go to your business because they know COVID was there. Yeah, they'll say, fuck yeah. that place. They <laughs> must not have been. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> right? Cut this podcast. We're done. Cut no this podcast. Yeah, it's <laughs> over. You see like the little blue screen. Look at the lightning. The Plain Mariachi podcast is temporarily <laughs> <Zombie>. out of service. <laughs> he just spoke some truth. I, I, I hope that I can take the the positive view and the optimistic and in economics it's always better to be optimistic it's always better but being a realist is also important and I just don't see how you balance those two sides of the equation the balance is time the balance unfortunately is another goddamn month of being isolated which I can't stand this is driving me nuts you know what I mean and losing more money and losing more revenue and, and getting down to the bone it's like fuck do I have to sell my house now so that I don't lose the money I put into it up front, yeah. right? So that's that's how I, I wanted to say that on Facebook yesterday, but then I, I got tired and I was like, nah, fuck this. People have already... People, I'm just going to see a flood of comments come in and I'm just like, no, I don't think so. But I thought about the gigs. I told Veronica, if gigs show up, I can't not take them now. Right. Yeah. Now I have to go out... Risk yourself. And risk my... And, and I'm not one of those guys It's like, oh, it only affects old people. No. I'm 33 years old. I'm a little heavy, more heavy than I used to be. And I've had pneumonia and I've had bronchitis every year for the last four years. So where in that safe group am I? Holy shit. I think I'm in the fucked category. I won't be calling you then. (laughs) (laughs) You sick bitch. (laughs) You sick bitch. You sick bitch. (laughs) You've had it for the past four fucking years. Holy shit, bro. 